Hello, hello. Today is April 13th, 2022. Uh, And it's such a gorgeous day. Um, I am just out in my backyard and my daughter's walking me like back and forth um, along the yard, which is fine. Like it gives me a time to be present. And before I was, you know, doing this recording, I was just sitting here and like thinking and listening to the birds and just the sounds of like life, (laughs) that being a lot of cars as well. So, but no, it's, um, really just a powerful time I feel. So as far as the astrology, um, yesterday was a big, big day. I've been talking about it for a couple weeks and, um, that was basically the meeting of Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces. And, you know, so many people were talking about it and, uh, there's so many angles, so many ways you can really read into the energy. Um, and so for me personally, I was tuning into this alignment as, you know, being able to really fully connect with your spirit guides or your higher self or angels or the divine as a whole really is what it is. And, you know, whatever or whoever you desire to seek alignment with, you know, this is such an opportune time. And I've been really feeling um, between, which was yesterday, right? April 12th was the day of the exact alignment. And so between April 12th and May 1st, um, which is Beltane, um, this is like such a strong window of communication, of connection with the divine. And while, you know, I speak of this window It's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely not closing um, right at, you know, May 1st. It's just more so like this is like where, um, you know, the layers or thresholds between the dimensions, between realities are going to be at its thinnest. And um, I mentioned Beltane um, before, I don't know if here, but I've been mentioning it in my cosmic climates and Beltane is the opposite, um, point in the wheel of the year. Um, it's opposite Samhain or as we know, Halloween, which Halloween is, or Samhain's really November 1st. It's around that, that, you know, October 31st, November 1st. And so the opposite here is May 1st. And as we know, you know, Halloween or Samhain is really like a time where we celebrate the dead and, it's really these two points on the on the wheel are um, indicating what we call the cross quarter um, days, which is essentially um, marking the halfway point between, in this case, between spring and summer, and the um, Halloween or Samhain is going to be in between um, fall and winter, and so that's the threshold we're crossing. And so just to bring it back to where we are in this moment here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is a focus on um, the rebirth, renewal, fertility, you know, just the spring, like fully anchoring in, in the spring, right? And so what I've been gathering as I've been connecting more and more with this time of the year, because I feel I haven't really, um, like back when I started my journey, I mean, off and on, this was like 2015, but I would, or not 2015, I started, my whole thing was like 2005, but 2015 was the time where I like kind of got back into it and devoted my life to it again. And was like, this is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. And this is who I am. And, um, so I, I took note of a lot of the pagan holidays, but I, I used to do that back, like when I first started in 2005. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is that it's been a minute too, since I've, um, paid any attention to Beltane specifically. And so this year, I don't know, maybe it is because of the Neptune Jupiter, um, conjunction that I am feeling called to pay attention on this particular cross quarter day. Cause I don't always pay attention to, you know, I pay attention to the solstices, the equinox, but you know, and of course Samhain, but the others I don't as much. 
And so I've been feeling just a connection. And what I've been, you know, learning again, this is a time of where the thresholds are pretty thin and we are being guided to, you know, if this resonates, being guided to connect with the nature spirits, right? Connect with the elementals and connect with the um, the fae, if you, you know, believe in those kind of things. Um, you know, the tree spirits, the, all of the things, um, because there is like this essence, like they have this, um, this spirit within them that is really, um, going to be of benefit for us at this time, specifically with, um, just, I've been also tapping into just life force energy, vitality, right? We're wanting fresh, fresh, um, fresh, everything, (laughs) fresh water, um, you know, fresh fruit, veggies, just that crispness I'm feeling. And, you know, and we're of course dealing with Pisces, which Pisces is like that over abundance, overflowing of water. At least that's how I connect with Pisces. Like it's just, it's that energy that's ever flowing with a, um, mutable aspect or quality to it. And then with Jupiter, Jupiter has this, um, essentially this, I was going to say, like, I guess buoyancy came to mind, but more so just like the warmth and for, I can't think of the word right now, but there's just like this juiciness. That's not the word, but that's what I'm going to use right now. Just, um, this very like moistened aspect. And then Neptune is like, you get like, for me, I'm thinking about the, the deep, blue ocean right just the vastness of the ocean so there's a lot of this wet watery feeling that I'm picking up on and so I don't know I've just been feeling really really good yesterday um you know I've talked about my divine counterpart and um in previous recordings and um how that's like a full separation I mean a separation by distance but also just like where is this going? Like, you know, it's becoming, you know, not really as fun because it's just like sad (laughs) because there's distance and circumstances and things of that nature. Um, so it was interesting yesterday I made a point to, and I, we had talked kind of off and on, but it was not really anything like, um, like, oh, optimistic or just like, it, there wasn't any change really. It was just kind of affirming what we we're already feeling or the energy that we we're in. So, um, and with my partner, it's like there was kind of a shift there where um, there wasn't any, like, I felt like I've had resistance towards him just for things that happened, you know, last year that really kind of put the distance there between him and I. And, um, but I kind of, I let go of that. I'm not going to say kind of, I did let go of that. Um, over the past like week do you have something in your eye sweetie come here let me see can I see I think it's gone what is it um I think it's just dirt oh I see right here oh good there we go all gone so um <laughs> yeah so I kind of made peace with that you know and then yesterday, I also just finally was like, I'm just going to make peace with the divine counterpart and experience. And, and a part of that was like, I was so vocal about divine counterparts and like the journey. And I was so passionate about it because I was in my own experience. And so I had been asking my guides also like, what, you know, what's going on with divine or counterparts? What does it mean? Like, what what's my perspective now on this? And You know, a lot of people have connected with me over, you know, the past year because I was talking a lot about that. And I haven't really, I talk about it off and on, but not like I was like probably like six months, like, you know, around Halloween time. And um, so I was just feeling a weird kind of a way. And then I finally, you know, I just released that. I was like, I don't really, I'm just going to live in my truth. Like maybe I'll talk about divine counterparts. Like, you know, maybe I'm supposed to get all different perspectives where it's like, okay, divine counterparts at a distance and then divine counterparts working, you know, on the astral plane with your divine counterpart. If you cannot connect in a physical way or through speaking or anything. So you're connecting to the higher self of your divine counterparts and you know um 
executing your purpose, collective purpose in that way. Um, And I just kind of let go. I was like, I'm letting go of all of this, you know, like it is what it is. And then um, literally probably within the hour after I like had that whole realization and made that affirmation and, you know, I was pulling cards and stuff, you know, I got a message from my divine counterpart and to keep it short, there's like a whole new beginning, new direction point of awareness that feels like I feel at peace. Like I feel like both of us feel at peace. There's not any pressure of anything. And yeah, so I feel like that shifted, um, along with so many other things. And so I just want to, um, wrap this up here, but, um, I'm going to wrap it up with this dream that I had early this morning, because as I said, I've been talking a lot about welcoming in this like new energy. And, um, also my teacher has been mentioning that, um, this energy coming through is also like with the Pisces, Neptune, and, and, or sorry, Jupiter, Neptune, and Pisces. A lot of this is coming through in the sense of like this surge of creative light and divine inspiration. It's like my kind of my take on it. And, um, so with that said, I have just been really connecting to, um, you know, nature. Thank you. All gone. Yeah. Um, or you want to take it outside? Okay. Watch your step, please. Okay. Um, so anyways, with that said, I had a dream last night or this morning in which there were, I was looking out my window and there were these two big trees that had kind of this opening and like U shape in the center of it. And one, at first I saw a huge raccoon, um, coming through and the raccoon was like as big as like a cub, a bear cub. It was crazy. Then it ran off. And then right after that, these owls started coming through and sitting in the tree and they were like, you know, they started as as they came in with, um, as more and more came in, they were bigger and bigger. And I was like, is that an owl? (laughs) I was just like, whoa. And then there was this huge one. I mean, just probably like half the size of myself. And it was like white and brown. It was definitely like the alpha. I don't know. I don't think that's what it's called. But anyways, yay. It um, turned around and like they all looked at me at one time. And it was just so majestic and so powerful. And so I'm just like speaking it out into the space. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm really curious to know, but I felt like, I don't know. I felt like it was, it definitely was a message. I felt like when I'm saying this, it feels like some kind of initiation or something, or it's like just acknowledging that the communication and appreciation has been, you know, is, has been made, has been heard. So I'm going to definitely touch bases here. Um, to update you whenever I um, know what that's speaking. (laughs) All right. So um, I hope that um, you all are having a good experience or good day. And um, I'll be talking again soon.